guys, it's Miss Katie Jane from Curious You. This week is all about busy mice. Hello! Hiya! Did you know that scientists use mice and mazes to study about spatial learning and memory? That's right, they do. The most common maze experiment they use is the Morris Water Maze. It was developed in Scotland in 1979 by a neuroscientist named Richard Morris. So mice can swim, but they don't like to do it. If you put a mouse in a big circular tub full of milky water, they will swim and swim and swim and swim and swim and swim and swim, and swim until they can find the hidden platform. So scientists put the same mouse in the tub again and again and again to see how quickly they learn where that hidden platform is. That's a fact. This week in our curiosity break, we are gonna replicate this very cool experiment using some simple supplies, not a tub full of milky water and a real mouse, no way. Instead, we're going to use a little paper mouse. This is one I printed off and cut out, but you could also draw one and cut it out. I'm also going to need a paper clip, a paper plate, a marker. I'm using a permanent marker and a magnet. I'll be using a magnet wand, but we'll also talk about other magnets that you could maybe find in your house if you don't have a magnet wand. We've got everything we need. Let's get started. All right, so the first thing we have to do is use our marker to draw a very simple, we're just gonna draw a simple maze on this piece of paper so that we don't have to worry about making a hidden platform. We're just gonna do a very basic maze. Now, I am not super wonderful at creating mazes, but that's okay. I can do something really basic be kind of like a spiral just so I can practice maneuvering with my mouse magnet. Now I'm going to need to take my little paper mouse and I'm going to need to slide a paper clip onto it. Now I like to use a bigger paper clip because a bigger paper clip obviously has more metal than a small paper clip. And the metal is very important because the magnet only works because of the metal. And if you use a small amount of metal, the magnet doesn't have as much to grab hold of. So I like to use the bigger paper clip. Now, the coolest part about this one is that we're not going to take our magnet where I'm using a magnet wand. I like magnet wands because they have a nice handle. But instead of doing it from the top, we're going to lift our plate and put the magnet underneath and then guide our mouse. Uh-oh, now he's going backwards. Now he's going sideways and he made it to the middle. Let's see if he can get back out. Yes, he can. Now, there are lots of different magnets that you can use. Like I said, we used a magnet wand here at the library, we also have a bar magnet, and you can see that works as well. And we have a traditional looking horseshoe magnet. See how it looks like the shoe of a horse? Or the letter U? Um, but not everyone would have that at their house, but I bet you have a refrigerator. And I bet your refrigerator has some magnets on it, maybe magnetic letters, maybe an advertisement for your favorite pizza place. There's all sorts of magnets you could have on your fridge and you can use those magnets to guide your mouse through the maze. So I hope you will do that. Join us next Wednesday for an entire Curious University story time. Our theme will be Bring On Bedtime. Sounds good to me. Until then, stay curious.